What is up guys, back with another video. Today we're going to go over on how to FPS fix your games. Now this FPS fix is basically globally. This is a global kind of FPS fix, so rather if you're using AMD or NVIDIA, this will work for you. So first off, we're going to start off by going to the AMD graphics. If you got NVIDIA, basically go into the 3D settings and you'll know what I'm talking about in just a couple seconds. Now what we do is we, for me, I have to load up the radon settings. You, for NVIDIA users, you got to right click and click around here for the uh, NVIDIA control panel and then uh, go to 3D settings for us gamers. For AMD, we need to go to the global settings and set the texture filtering quality to performance. Same for you. you um, for anybody who uses NVIDIA, select your texture filter quality to performance or slide it all the way to the left, which should be performance. After that, you can basically close this. Now, if you got two graphics cards, you might run into a little bit of problem with, um, this is for people who have Crossfire or SLI. Now, with this type of problem is that you might run into FPS issues because the game might not be optimized for two video cards. So maybe you might have to turn off the two video cards like I did for Fallout 4. I'm not too certain whether or not if um, Fallout 4 is optimized for SLI on PC. But for Crossfire, I basically had to turn it off in order to make the frame rate literally doable or playable. After that, basically close the settings and basically you're done with the graphical settings. Now we're going to go set up the operating system. Now, um, now for the operating system, this is actually quite simple. You just type in system and we're going to go to the system control panel here. This will show you what your system specs are um, and how much RAM you have. Say if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM and you're trying to play game on it, you cannot play games using 4 gigabytes of RAM depending on what game it is. Say for example you're playing a game like uh, PUBG, like uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. If we go to the system specs here, which I had, which I said this in the previous video on uh, FPS fixing PUBG, um, the memory is required is six gigabytes of RAM. There's a reason for that. When you actually start playing the game, it will use four gigabytes of RAM. It will suck the RAM out of your computer. Um, my friend Nanoid uses uh, a four gigabyte stick, but, but but the only reason why he couldn't use his other DIMM slots. Um, was because one of them burnt out, so he needs to get a single 8 gigabyte um, RAM stick in order to make games playable. It's kind of expensive to get a single 8 gig because for a single 4 gig is actually cheaper than a single 8 gig, obviously, because more RAM or less RAM, basically. But yes, you are going to need, um, I would say, at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, and if you want to step it up even higher, having 16 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough to play any game in this uh, in the Steam library, which I believe Witcher 3 uses um, uses more than six gigs. I believe they do. Yeah, they use eight gigs is recommended, but six gigs minimal. But um, having 16 is plenty enough for your operating system to get enough breathing room. So, okay, so how do we get to optimize Windows 10 or the operating system? This will basically work for any operating system as long as it's Windows 7 and higher. So if you have Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10, this will work for you quite well. Now, um, in the system settings, we're going to head straight over to, um, you'll start at a computer name, you want to go to advanced, and then go to performance right here. So after you go to performance, we're going to adjust for best performance. All this will get turned off when you want best appearance. It'll look like this. But you're going to want to adjust it for best performance. This will optimize the actual aesthetic of the operating system to run on using very low, um, minimal to no um, animations and fade in, fade out kind of things that exist within Windows. You know, that makes Windows so fancy looking. Uh, you can also have let Windows choose what's best for, for my PC. You can also do that, but you know you might not have the better result, like the best result if you just click this right here. After that, we're going to go ahead and click apply, and obviously I already did. Um, I already had that option available, so that's why my games look actually pretty well. But the text, obviously the text on the uh, screen doesn't look too sharp. But if you adjust for best performance, all the text should sharpen up just like that as you can see but it's better if you have it on just performance but anyways 
We're gonna go ahead over the advance. Now this is a little iffy. Um, virtual memory is a little iffy on setting up. Um, usually um, some gamers just leave it on automatic, especially if they don't have FPS issues. Um, they just leave it on automatic and have the operating system choose by itself. Some people actually need to manage this by themselves. The reason for this is, is because um, some computers will respond differently having these different settings active. Like say, um, this is a SSD right here. I can technically use this as a page pooling service. Um, basically a lot of uh, processes that run in the background can pull information in there and then um, manage it from there. Um, but you would have to reset your restart your computer after you're done. But this is my recording drive, and if I go into my recording drive, go all the way down to rec, all I have is my recordings. That's all that exists inside my recordings. Or hold on, I'm so sorry. Uh, it shows up on my other screen. Um, everything shows up in my recording drive. So if I go down to rec, there's nothing in there besides my recording. So I can use it as a page pooling because it wouldn't really cause that much. Um, system defects and all but in order for anything to really show up you would have to uh, reset your computer in order for anything to start appearing and yeah it's basically queued for changes to happen once you restart your computer which um, I'll restart later and uh, after that uh, I'm gonna show you that during after this FPS fix that I basically had a maybe like 25% increase on performance. This one guy that I know, his name is Dark Rogue, which I can say he can probably vouch for me. I did this FPS fix based on his computer, and after I was done doing the FPS fix through TeamViewer, he had a 20, 10 to 20 FPS increase in PUBG or in Player Unknown Battlegrounds because. He had more space to do things or to perform uh, recording and gameplay at the same time. Before he wasn't able to do it, but now he was able to. Anyways, if this was helpful, hit the like and subscribe button. And um, if you like the song, the the song will be in the description bar for you to go ahead and download if you want to. Or go ahead and look it up and find it because it's free. Catch you guys in the next video.